things we've got to do is uh, look at the way the Germans have managed over the years to achieve higher yields than we actually have done. Uh, I think a lot of it is a, 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 a approach of attention to detail. Obviously starts off with uh, soil management, ensuring that these roots can get to the depths that we've seen they're capable of doing this year. And in a drought year, people are getting them down to seven foot. So your, your soil um, condition is vitally important. Um, and then the way we feed these plants and uh, the, our use of fungicides has become increasingly more important in the sense that we have a planned approach much the same way as we do with our wheat. In, in, you know, we're looking after the crop right the way through all its growing stages rather than maybe reacting to circumstances. So it's more of a planned and a precise route than it has been in the past. First thing would be early establishment try and get it away as soon as you can mid-August. Um, I think any delay the end of August, September, you're knocking yield all the time. That's my own opinion. Um, method of establishment, we've been, dare I mention it, establishing with a Claydon drill. Um, we do all our crops with a Claydon drill. Um, I've got no problems with it whatsoever and I think I've had better, better establishment with that than any other method. We were previously on a subsoiler drill it was okay, but it was horrendous to drive over afterwards. So everything, you just shook you to pieces if you weren't careful. Um, yeah, so, so I think the, the, the main thing is, is, is good establishment and then keep on top of foam and canker, uh, which means, unfortunately, plenty of uh, fungicide programs. We, we tend to be a three, well, three, possibly four pro uh, spray, certainly autumn, early autumn, and two, possibly three in the spring, unfortunately but um, if you don't spend, you don't get. In a good year, it all begins with establishment. I think if you can get the establishment and timing away, so if you've got moisture in the ground and you get the rape away, then you're onto a winner. That's the biggest thing. Obviously, variety is going to play an important role. I think there's too many varieties out here. Now, you only have to look today at how many different ones, and I think the market's overcrowded. So you need to just do, sort of find out what's specifically good for you, because if you can get it through the winter and keep the pigeons under control, then that's it. I think straw off. Because I think the straw is definitely we've seen improvements this year where we haven't had straw on there, so we've bailed the straw. Uh, and then I think when you're coming into the spring, you've got to accept now that rape is not a cheap crop to grow. But at 400 pound a ton, which is what we're looking at potentially to be at selling price, you can afford to spend more on it. So I think you're going to be spraying it a lot more than we've traditionally have. You've got to keep it clean, weed free, uh, keep the nitrogen going on there, and lots of bit of salt. As much bit of salt as you can get on.